Gatwick, a flight has arrived from Montego Bay. During a routine passenger search, UK border officers have found a package that looks like it could contain drugs. The passenger has been arrested. Uh, the lady came off the Montego Bay flight and uh, she was intercepted by one of our officers. Upon searching her bag, he found a package which we believe to contain cocaine. Took her to a search room. Whilst the package was being tested, the package tested positive for cocaine. Knowing she's been caught red-handed, the woman Not confesses to other packages of drugs right, okay. hidden Let's... under her clothes. Right. This is uh, what was found in the back of the suitcase. It's what we would call a stuffer's package, which would be put up somebody's uh, backside, probably. But that was found in the bag, and that was what we uh, decided made it a job. And then uh, during the ship search, we found this, which is all full of cocaine attached to her waist. The audacious smuggling attempt also involved some highly modified underwear. This little uh, body packer suit filled with cocaine. It's a massive amount of drugs for one person to be carrying. Nearly two and a half kilos of coke on the body. The seizure demonstrates the officer's skill in identifying smugglers. Just stopped just to ask her a few questions. No real reason to stop her over anybody else. Historically, we tend to get more cannabis than we do cocaine in the flight. So she obviously saw her opportunity, knowing what she had on her person, and just walked through the channels. Unfortunately for her, she was stopped. Are we cuffing? Suddenly realising how much trouble she's in, the woman goes into shock. <laughs> right, no more jumping around, OK? Stand up straight. Yeah? You're going to walk with me? You're going to walk? I know it's hard, but you just need to... The woman is taken to a holding bay for further questioning. Officers will need to be extra vigilant to ensure that she doesn't try to harm herself again. In Manchester, officers have received a call for backup from the other terminal. A passenger's fruit has given a massive hit for Class A drugs. We've just been called over to Terminal 3. Um, there's a lady, I believe, travelling from Barbados. Um, is it via Gatwick, Gary? Or Heathrow? It's on one of the shuttles. Uh, we believe they've found cocaine in yams. Um, so we're just coming over uh, to see what's going on. Cocaine can be hidden anywhere. And with a street value of £50,000 per kilo, smugglers will go to extraordinary lengths to avoid detection. Have you x-rayed them? I've x-rayed them, just a bulky mass. Um, right. You couldn't tell okay. from the x-ray whatsoever. The initial trace was off the scale, yeah. but Border Officer Liz thinks it may be a false alarm. OK, we're not sure we've actually got anything. Um, the officer spiked one of the yams, and he's got a really high reading for cocaine off the uh, off the machine there. But it's possible just contamination on the on the on the spike. So we're just going to cut right into these. We've had it in mangoes, coconuts, pineapples. Looks like there's nothing in these, though, unfortunately. Investigating further, the officers discover more potentially incriminating details. The woman's passport is brand new and her ticket was paid for in cash. Is someone meeting her? Her mum says she's... she's yeah. Meeting her. I mean, if you, if you want to put stab vests on, yeah, and go and have a word and just verify a story, there's no harm there. Still suspicious, the officers decide to investigate the woman's claim she's being met by her mother. Obviously, for our protection, we need to have body armour on in case, if it is a drugs job, the people who are meeting will obviously be looking for those drugs and be rather upset. So we need to be armoured up. Just going to take your shoes for a second. That's yours as well. Officers continue to carry out further tests for drugs. Go ahead. When someone's got an internal concealment for drugs, their sweat um, comes out onto the shoes and the drugs shows in the sweat. 
it's an indication that they might have something. They could have taken something, but it gives us grounds to to do um, an internal body scan or something like that. It's come back negative, so there's no trace on the shoes. The woman's ordeal the continues as the team carry out more drug tests on the baggage. But she's not really got many clothes or anything for a month stay. It's that bag as well, that's a bag constellation that uh, a while ago we had a lot of seizures in. A radio three, message three, comes three, through three, from the officers sent to. to meet the woman's mother. No, there's no one out there waiting for her. Yes, yes. It's very strange, though, that her mum's not waiting for her outside. If, uh, well, you know, that in itself is not enough, is it? So she might have been delayed. With no sign of the mother, the woman remains under arrest yeah. until the officers yeah. can prove that she's telling the truth. In Gatwick, the woman found carrying two and a half kilos of cocaine has been transported to the custody cells. You okay? Keep walking forward. Have you got anything inside you that's hurting? No? No. Come forward. Take Having a tried to harm herself, officers have handcuffed the woman for her own protection. And if the officer takes you, I understand you're banging your head upstairs. If the officer takes your cuffs off, you promise me not to do that here. Yeah? Just move this way. I don't want you damaged. I'm here to look after your welfare and your rights and your health. I don't want you damaging yourself while you're here. Right. Put your hands up for you. So this lady's arrived from Montego Bay this morning. Search of the hand baggage revealed a cylindrical package. Cut was made in the package, which revealed a white paste. Okay. Harold, are you? <laughs> Sorry, can't hear you. Have you also swallowed? I need to know from a health and safety point of view. If you have, it's a danger to yourself. I don't take drugs. <laughs> so you haven't swallowed no. anything as well. No. Okay, let's go. Having found a substantial amount of cocaine on her person, officers must make sure well, she's not it's carrying just drugs be search. anywhere else. And then there's the herpes. All right. I didn't even notice that was up. Nothing lots in that, yeah? Yeah, I've searched it already. When we told her that we were going to take her to custody um, and put her into a cell, she started slapping her own face and banging her head on the table, which is obviously not a good sign. So myself and another officer ran into the room and restrained her and applied some handcuffs. We now have to watch her because of her behaviour and, you know, we have to be extra alert, not knowing how she's going to react when she gets locked into a cell, how she's going to act when she's on her own, if she's going to try and harm herself. I do feel sorry for them sometimes because you wonder what it takes for them to actually do something like this. Yeah, just that amount on the person, two and a half kilos is a lot to have, it's, it's quite greedy. Having already shown signs that she's prepared to self-harm, officers must ensure that nothing further happens to her whilst in their custody. Because of that sort of thing, she might try and top herself, so we have to watch them on camera. And she'll have to get used to being locked up. She was sentenced to seven years in prison. In Manchester, officers are discussing the woman arrested on suspicion of smuggling cocaine in yams. I don't really think I've got enough to, no, to do think, any further. I don't think you've got enough to go any further, to be honest with you. But obviously, the reason you arrest her in the first place is because you, you thought you had drugs in the yams. Now, if you haven't... Um, to an arrest. Well, yeah, but wait for Gary to come back in and see what Gary says, because obviously he's, uh, he's in charge, but I would say you haven't really got enough. No. Officer Gary radios through to say he's finally met the woman's mother outside. All right, OK. Having found right, no further right. evidence of cocaine, officers accept their false readings must have come from using a contaminated right. knife. We've, we've looked in your bags, we've looked further, um, and in further investigation, looking into the yams and stuff, there isn't anything in there. We've made a mistake. When we tested it, it's given a false reading on our machine, so there isn't anything in there. So you're no longer under arrest. And I want to apologise for keeping you, but thank you for your patience anyway, and you can relax now, OK? So we're going to repack all your bags, and then we'll 
get and let you go outside, all right? OK, and hopefully you'll enjoy your holiday here. Whilst it's been an unnecessary ordeal for the woman, it shows that Class A drug hits must be investigated properly to ensure only guilty smugglers end up behind bars. This way, that's the, the way out. Okay, just keep going through. Thank you. It's a quiet afternoon at Manchester Airport. A flight from Sweden has just landed, and UK border officers have caught a suspected cigarette smuggler walking through baggage reclaim. Three big, uh, three big suitcases full of ciggies. So we're gonna have to uh, come down. He's, they're all gonna leave. He's laughing, I think. We have to come down. We're gonna have a. Uh, looks like they're all loose in that. So we're gonna have to count them. Do you speak English? Mm, don't yeah, mess, bit, don't bit, mess around. A bit. a bit, yeah. You can yeah. see you speak enough English to smuggle cigarettes. Right, what flight are you on? Tickets. Stockholm flight. What carousel were you on? This carousel? The man started his journey in Estonia, a known source country for cheap cigarettes. Just noticed this guy leaving, and they're all full. Where'd you come from? Uh, Sweden. So he started his journey in Estonia. And when did you fly back to Estonia? Mm. Hmm? Mm. What do you mean you don't know? No, mm. time. You must have a ticket to go back to Estonia. Yes, I know. Well, when, when is it? I don't hear it yet. You haven't been given it yet? I haven't given bought it yet. No, when, what day are you flying back to Estonia? I didn't, I haven't decided yet. Right, in here. Seasoned officer Gary isn't amused by the man's vague answers. Uh, I've just come, obviously, got to come outside and saw this guy wandering around outside looking for the exit. And when I looked at his bags, they look quite so they look quite square. So when I went over to speak to him, he told me he was from Estonia, which is a place where a lot of people bring cigarettes in from. When I felt the bag, they were rock hard, which suggests to us that they're full of cigarettes. And they, they are. Happy days. So how many times have you been to the UK? A few. How many? The man's failure to answer simple questions is starting to annoy Gary. Uh, Look, let's get let's start from the beginning. Don't don't play stupid. Right? What do you mean? Don't pretend that you don't know how many times you've been to the UK. You do know. Is it once, twice, three times, ten times? Three or four. Well, that's found. Then that's the answer. I don't remember exactly. What do you mean you don't remember? When was the last time you came here? Long time ago. When? I can go in and check the airlines. So you either tell me the truth or I'll find out. I tell you, maybe a couple of months. Right. And on that occasion, you had cigarettes as well. No. No. As officers uncover more and more cigarettes, it looks like it could be their biggest seizure ever. At Gatwick Airport, passengers are preparing to board a flight to Ghana. The UK border officer's cash Lovely. team is Thank using you. specially trained right. sniffer dogs to search out That's large amounts of money, much. which could have links to organised crime. OK, not scared of customs officers, are you? Sorry? Not scared of customs officers. This ticket, did you buy this yourself? No, my sponsor. You who? My sponsor bought it for Your me. sponsor? In Ghana. In Ghana. As well as looking for large sums of cash, officers are on the lookout for drugs and to check the immigration status of passengers. Hello. Are you carrying any cash with you today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you damn sure as well how much you have with you? Um, I think it's four men. Uh, I'm going to give it to his mom. Yeah, how much do you have? That's the question I asked. Uh, Money. 1,050. Any more? Any more cash? Any more cash? My, my personal cash. How much do you have in total? Uh, roughly, roughly. Roughly, let's say about 400. My personal cash. Okay. Thank you. Right. The man's answers are not entirely convincing for senior officer Paul. Hello, it's just two of you travelling. Yes, please. Yeah, just have a quick word with you. Okay. No, you've got your hands full there. <laughs> you told the officer when the the dog 
indicated you had yeah. 400 pounds in personal cash. Yeah. Are you carrying any cash for anybody else at all? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, it's how, my... how much have you got in total? Um, 1050. Could you show me that, please? Yes. Is there any more cash in the baggage here? No, no, no. So, who does the child belong to? Is it your son? Is it no, yours? no, it's a friend of mine. So you've been asked to take this child yes, back to its mum? OK, hold on a second. The man's story rings alarm bells for Paul. I need your help in a minute. OK. What's your relationship? And where's the father at the moment? The father is at the airport. At the airport. Yes. He's not flying, though. No, he's not flying. This gentleman's flying. taken a child out oh, that's okay. not his. Right. With the flight due to leave in 20 minutes, officers have a race against time yeah. to verify Thank the man's you. story. So, um, where, do, where, does, where does the child normally live? In Ghana or in the UK? Um, this is my first time here. I came to meet him here. Right. And we go to check together. And he asked me if I can do him a favour and take his son to Ghana. But the okay. dad is at the airport. So the parents right? live in the UK? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. right. What we've got a situation where a gentleman is travelling out with a small boy. Um, he's not related to the child. Uh, so I'm going to try and make some inquiries with the parents. Um, to check where the child normally lives. The child appears to have been here about a year on a visit visa, which is um, possibly longer than we would expect on that type of visa. So I want to know what the immigration status of the parents is as well, really. With passengers starting to board the plane, a decision must be made imminently about whether the man and the child will be leaving the Do country. Do you know what the phone number is? In Manchester, officers are still counting the thousands of cigarettes intercepted from an Estonian smuggler. So who are you meeting outside? Nobody. Who are you giving these cigarettes to? Somebody. Yeah, who? Don't you know his name? I, I don't know. I, I just uh, bring it here. And, uh... and he will take them off you outside? No. Where do you have... Me, myself. Where do you have to go? to hand them over. Manchester? Maybe, maybe London. London? Maybe. I, it, it's not the point where... No, it is to me. It may not be to you, but I'm asking you, where do you take the cigarette? If you don't know, don't they tell you where the cigarettes are going? Absolutely. Well, the, well, you're not doing this on your own, are you? It's obviously a gang. Don't insult my intelligence, mate. Right? On your best day, you're not as good as me on my worst day. Right? So either say nothing, don't give me any rubbish. I know what's going on here. Right? It takes three officers to count the enormous haul of cigarettes. Total count is... 46,560. It's a huge seizure of cigarettes with a street value of more than £20,000. As you're probably aware, all these cigarettes are going to be seized. Do you understand that? And all the bags that you were carried in are going to be seized, right? Why bags? Because I said so. Right, what I'm doing now, I'm getting you a receipt for the cigarettes, right? I'm going to give you a receipt. I'm going to give you a warning letter because next time you will be arrested. Do you understand that? You come in here with all these cigarettes again, I will arrest you. Understand? OK, there's the door. With no previous convictions, the man is allowed to go free. But next time, he'll end up behind bars. They try and think that they can say whatever they want to say. No, at the end of the day, we will arrest these people. It's, I just don't like the idea that they can just be so blasé about it all, uh, as if we can't do anything about it. Well, we will. At Gatwick Airport, officers have just minutes yeah, to decide yeah, whether a child will be okay, allowed to leave for Ghana with a man who isn't his father. Right. I've just checked the status of the um, mother and the father. The father appears to be in the UK on some sort of permit. If you hold the line one second, put the, 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 yeah. the father on the phone. Okay. Hello, sir. Hi, I understand you're the child's father. Right, yeah, um, and you've, you've given a covering letter um, for Mr Bonsu to travel with the child. OK, can you just confirm to me, sir, what's your own immigration status in the UK? How long have you got your visa for? 
Do you know when they rejected that application? When would that be, roughly? You can understand the reasons why we need to make sure. Maybe you don't want me getting up somebody's son. Exactly, exactly, that's the reason. Especially with, particularly with children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? yeah. And you, have you made any application uh, for the child to be in the UK as a resident? As the final call is made for all remaining passengers, officers must quickly make a decision. You right there, Jane? Yeah, um, I've spoken to the father and I've done some checks with our own database and he's able to verify some of what's on there, so I'm happy that he is the father. Right, so, they go allowed to track. Yeah, yeah, I'm endorsing the passports with their departure date, uh, well, with the, the child's anyway, because he's been here too long on the wrong visa, basically. Um, but the checks um, confirm our records, so yeah, I'm going to allow them to travel. Better get them on their way though. Okay, I spoke to the father and he's verified most of my checks, so that's fine. Okay, there you go. Okay. Cheers then, thank you. Although under pressure, the officers are happy they've made the right decision. It's very aware that the clock's ticking and you've got to make a decision, you know, whether to offload them and make a whole load more inquiries, but um, yeah, I think I wrapped it up just in time. In Gatwick, a flight from St Lucia has just landed. As the passengers disembark, UK border officers and sniffer dog Lucy are waiting on the hunt for any traces of Class A drugs. Thank you. Thank you. The officers are also on the lookout for suspicious behaviour. Thank you. And when Lucy shows interest in this couple... That's fine, thank yeah. you. Can you slow your back for me? Yeah. Both passengers seem nervous. Thank you. Handler Claire tracks the couple through passport control to baggage reclaim, where the search officers are waiting. Yeah, they're sort of to the right, came away, because he is looking this way, but I think he's just sort of looking everywhere in yeah. general anyway. Yeah, Jason was saying that he's pretty nervous. The team keep a close eye on the suspect as they head for the exit. When an officer stops the woman. Hiya, where have you arrived from today? St. Lucia. Lucia. The man seems to walk on. Are you travelling together? Yes. Yeah. yeah, do you mind just stopping at the bench for me, please? But the officer pulls him over as well. Separating at the channels is a tactic often employed by smugglers, and the officers start to think they may be onto something. I just need to ask you a few questions about the bags. Obviously, oh, right. are you travelling together? Have you been together yes, for the yes, week? Yes, yes, I'm actually unemployed, but I do escorting on the side, so okay. I do get some money. Okay, have you packed the bags yourselves? Yeah, yeah. I have. Are you fully aware of the contents of your yeah. bags? Yeah. yeah. The passengers seem a little jumpy. I'm in there. You're right. <laughs> yeah, I've got something. <laughs> and the officer notices her laptop is held together by laptop. sticky tape. Oh, That's mine. Yeah. Okay, can you turn it on for me? Have you got the back? Officers at Gatwick have recently found drugs hidden in laptops, and this one looks highly suspicious. Well, if it goes to the X-ray, we don't need to put it apart, do we? We're just having a look at it because it's got tape all over, which isn't usual. Sorry? It's got tape all over it. Yeah, so. it's all together. OK, then. It's not going to be a problem, is there? The laptop is clear, but with around 1,500 kilos of cocaine seized at the border every year, the officers know to investigate every possible angle. And there's still one bag that needs to be searched. Have you got a little rucksack, dude? Do you have a rucksack? Yeah, I took it in my bag. Yeah. Put them in the rucksack. Got dirty washed in it. They swab the inside of the rucksack for traces of drugs. They now need to look again to find out where the cocaine trace may have come from. That comes to them. Um, there you go. Basically, what yeah. we did there was a swab of your bag, and yeah. it came up with a hit of heroin. Uh, sorry, heroin. Sorry, heroin. Sorry, no, cocaine. I have, have you used any cocaine whilst no, you've been away? No. You got anything in the bag at all? No, not that. No, no. no. That is your bag, is it? No, you have a check. Inside the rucksack is a plastic bag. Have you got in there in that? No. What is? You tell me what is in your bag. Like right, just take your hands off it then. You don't no. know this is yours. No, I wouldn't put it in there. No. Can you stand back for me? Someone took our bag to the airport. We had to check in. Yeah, we had top contact at the airport. Yeah. You just stand there for me. Yeah. You're saying you don't know what this is? No. Okay, stay there for you. Stay there a sec. Yeah, you've got to 
Yeah, there we go. Coke. See the white there? It is what it is. It's just cylinders of cocaine. Is it? Yeah. So they were arrested at 56. Right. Yeah, I'm fine. What was it then? Now. It is. I'm afraid it's tested huh? positive for cocaine. Is it? So I need you both okay. to listen to what I'm going to yeah. say. Go okay. It's 0656 on the 15th of July. I'm arresting you both on the suspicion of being involved with the importation of a controlled drug. You do not have to say anything. It may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. 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 The couple are taken into custody, denying any knowledge of the importation. I haven't done anything wrong. That's been planted on us, you know. OK, well, I'm telling you. You're under arrest and you have been advised that you don't have to say anything. The investigation into who the drugs belong to can now begin. In Manchester, officers are always on the lookout for bags arriving from EU countries containing large amounts of tobacco. The officers need to stop and question the passengers to make sure the goods are all for personal use. Hey, mate. But this passenger is far from happy. You're not. You're not. You're being cheated. I'm ultra personal. We're allowed them. And yeah. Now, many we could bring in, we brought them in, we tell them we're open, not allowed to do this. Why tell us we're allowed to do it? We can bring them, bring them in and then stop us and give us this crap. You're being nice, you're being horrible. You singled us out. You stood there, watched us. You picked no one up to see the camera, mate. The man's aggression is starting to escalate. You cheek it. You cheek it. We're allowed to buy cigarettes, we smoke. Why should we pay your government? That's his prices. Hey, hey, you robbers. You robbers. Robbers, robbers, robbers. Oh, you can't help me now, mate. Robbers, robbers, robbers. Just want more money off us. With the man now threatening to lose control, more officers arrive to help calm the situation. All this before the officers have started the search. The woman's tobacco is below the guidelines, but if she's caught bringing in a similar amount again, it may be seized. The woman understands. But the man is still angry. The person was actually quite angry and agitated because he'd been intercepted um, by my officer. I thought um, he was going to attack one of my um, colleagues. Obviously, I took a position um, just in case if anything um, was to happen, I could actually take the person down. It doesn't happen too often, but when it does happen, it can really escalate. Thankfully, it all ends peacefully. Back in Gatwick, the two people caught with cocaine in their hand luggage are under arrest, and officers are working out the scale of the crime. Three kilos, 0 0.590, probably three kilos at the end. We were looking at the bag, looking at the laptop, looking at something sophisticated, very well hidden. And to be fair, to find six big blocks like that in a bag, I haven't seen it for a long time. The female suspect is a former heroin addict and is now asking for her medication. We can't give you any medication, obviously, because we're not doctors. Listen to me. We need to do a... No, I understand that. We need to do a search of your person, and then we need to take you down to custody, and that's when you'll get given your solicitor and we'll call, call in a nurse or a doctor. I'll tell you what, I ain't done nothing, and I'm not even holding any myself accountable for any of this because I've done nothing. I knew about nothing. Okay. It's been planted. My friend wouldn't do that. Basically, you need to speak to your solicitor to route those, OK? Test your positive for cocaine. And it's three and a half kilos, which is three and a half quite kilos. a lot. The couple will now be strip searched. I'm also going to have to get you to bend over at one point so I can see you've got nothing internally. Of course, okay. of course. Meanwhile, sniffer dog Lucy is brought in to be trained up on the unique scent of this cocaine seizure. With drugs varying widely in both purity and quality, any chance to give dogs a new scent increases their chances of sniffing out more smugglers. 
The suspects are now transferred to the custody suite for further questioning. Baggage search of his rucksack, hand baggage, revealed a number of cylindrical shaped packages that tested positive for cocaine. Do you have your answer, sir? Duty. 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 That's fine. Arrange that for you. Do you want anyone notified you're here? No. No. Sound three, please. Okay, just take the shoes off and then mark off. As the female suspect arrives, the arresting officer brings the investigation team up to speed. She's got nothing in hers. You did her bag first? Did her bag first, her and her handbag. So they had separate baggage? Yeah. He had it in his rucksack, all of it, 3.5 kilos, whatever it was, and no, his was, rucksack. The, which is not checked? Um, no, hand baggage. OK, yeah. Um, and, and it was foil wrapped cylinders? It's cylindrical, um, vacuum-packed, I would say, yeah, vacuum-packed no. packages. I haven't even counted how many to be no, no, honest. No. Okay. Um, and they straight away started saying that the bags were taken off them in St. Lucia. Um, and they thought something was odd and they've been set up. Being caught with this amount of cocaine is no laughing matter. Both suspects have since pleaded not guilty. But if convicted, this could be the first night of many behind bars. In Gatwick, the sniffer dog teams are targeting a plane that's just arrived from St Lucia. Following a number of recent cocaine seizures, the intelligence unit has identified a possible smuggler on this flight. It's up to the officers to find and search the suspect and find out if the information is correct. It's on six, seven or eight, something out there. She's... Do you know what she, is she wearing anything distinctive? Um, got a shoulder, carrying a shoulder bag um, and a Louis Vuitton hand, hand luggage as well. I just need to double check it is there actually. Coming up. Coming up. The woman is kept under surveillance as she passes through the airport. She's about the eighth or ninth one going on. That's fine. Thank you very much, madam. Can you just stand still for a moment? Not all intel targets turn out to be smugglers, so sniffer dogs like Sam are the quickest way to work out if someone has been in contact with drugs. Sam picks up a scent but can't pinpoint the source, so now it's up to Kevin to search and question the suspect. Hello, where, where have you arrived from this morning? St. Lucia. St. Lucia. Might you come over with me very quickly? As Kevin begins the search, the woman seems edgy, and her body language is far from friendly. I hope she shouldn't take too long. It's the first this happened to my yeah. every year. Yeah. Never, never, Unfortunately, never. we do get. I don't, I don't oh, no, you yeah, don't. Yeah, of course don't, you don't. I'm a person. Yeah. I don't, I don't believe this. Yeah. I work hard for my living. Yeah. Unfortunately, what, what we don't know is what somebody's looks like. Not, Me, I don't believe this. One. No. I never get stuck no. since I'm in trouble. Never. Yeah. Sometimes they pick the wrong person. Kevin's beginning to think she isn't carrying drugs and is just upset at being delayed. Right, I'll do a quick swab of your bag, okay? Yeah, a quick drug swab should find out. She looks all right. Yeah, I'll swap the bags and I'll, I'll forget it. The bag swab gives a surprising result. I'll see you to check the bags fully. I was hoping to get you on your way quickly. I'm getting a contamination for cocaine. Mm. All right, no, 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 need to explain, right? Just well, you, yeah, I'll, I'll need to do anything, yeah. yeah. It'll take a bit longer, that's all. Okay. Okay. Right. The suspect's becoming impatient. But the coke hit combined with the intelligence means she isn't going anywhere just yet. In Manchester, a flight has just landed from Paris. The French capital has connecting flights to all the world's drug source countries, and UK border officers are on the lookout for any smugglers trying to slip through in the crowd. Time to just come through here. Are you travelling on your own or are you with somebody? On your own, just come through here, please. How long have you been out for? Uh, three days. And what was the purpose of your trip? Uh, wedding in Paris. This up. passenger arrived from Paris, but began his trip in Thailand. Why did you go to Thailand for? Why? Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. So how long are you in the UK for? Until uh, Sunday. Till Sunday. So what do you do in Thailand? I'm a cook. Border officer Zoobs is yet to catch his first cocaine smuggler, 
And disappointingly, this passenger's story sounds plausible. But a strong hit for cocaine from the passenger's passport raises suspicions. Next, Zub swabs the man's toothbrush to work out if he might be a user. Zoobs gives the man a chance to explain the hit. Right, I've just actually done a quick swab of your passport and your toothbrush. He's given me high traces of cocaine. Huh? He's given me high traces of cocaine. Right. OK. Um, have you actually come into contact with cocaine in Thailand? In, in Thailand? Yeah. yeah but I'm not, I'm not a user. You, but you're not a user? No, I'm not so how do you explain cocaine? Um, traces from a toothbrush, which is personal, just to yourself. I don't know. Right, okay. With the man offering no explanation, Zoobs has to assume he's carrying drugs either in his bags or in his body. Okay, I've actually had a high hits of cocaine from the trainers. Right? How do you explain all these um? Stuff? No. Now, if you've actually used cocaine out there, I'm not interested. In Thailand? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's... You've used it out there now? I said that to you. No, you said you didn't. I did, I said that to you one, like once or twice. Just once or twice yeah. in the past... And um, yeah. when was the last time that you've actually... Two months. About two months ago. Right. You know, it's not a problem. We need to know if you've used them in the past, you know, a few weeks. Yeah, I understand that. And you, you, you're saying you haven't? Right, you sure? But under pressure, the man changes his story again. Well, so when was the last time? I used it in Paris. In Paris? Oh, in right. Paris, so it actually wasn't two months ago. He's finally admitted using, but as he's already lied, the officers need to make sure he's not carrying any drugs. What's on there? There's a TV appearing for me. Have you? Uh, they're just a selection of uh, CDs, and he's got one DVD. He's a celebrity chef, apparently. It's something to do with... Uh, that's what he said he was, a celebrity chef, some sort of TV programme. That's the passenger. Although some of the story checks out, Zoob still thinks the passenger may be a smuggler. Initially, he denied he was a user. Um, he's admitted to the fact that he first told me he last used two months ago. And then he came down to the fact that at the wedding where he went to in Paris, they had a big session. Have you asked him if he object to such? I've, I've, I've not asked him, but just, ask him. just see the reaction, yeah. Still on the hunt for his first ever cocaine seizure, Zoobs puts the man on the spot. If we were to ask you um, for a search of a person, uh, would you object to that? <clears throat> I'm carrying two guns of cocaine. I have two guns of cocaine in my underwear. Right, OK. Zoob's persistence means he's just bagged his first ever cocaine seizure. The time is 17.35. I'm arresting you on suspicion of being involved in the importation of control drug. You the man's admission is set to land him in a whole heap of trouble. Just take a seat on the back wall. Yeah, and the seriousness of the crime is already starting to hit home. OK. Back in Gatwick, Kevin is also dealing with a suspect whose bags are giving hits for cocaine. Again, I've got low levels of cocaine. I'll have to go through this bag, because I've got the same thing on this bag. And you may put your arm on the counter or... But this woman isn't very understanding about the already lengthy delay. Taking cocaine. And that can get on your clothes. Yeah. I'm just going to put the bag through the X-ray. What I'm looking for is concealments. It looks OK. It doesn't seem that heavy, but... 
Having ruled out all other causes of the coke hits, Kevin's last job is to x-ray the case. Yeah, there's some sort of thing here. It could well just be part of the bag makeup. I just did a check in the middle of the bags about there. There's nothing there. The anomaly is just a bar of chocolate. And that's what came up on the x-ray. They found cocoa, but not cocaine. The woman is now free to go. That's what was in there, actually. Could you, yeah, because the lady wants to get the wire, actually. Thank you. It's done in this morning, only me. It's come to me, or you come to my dress. It's all funny. I never have a problem since I'm traveled. Even in St. Lucia, I never have a problem. This time, the search finds nothing. And despite Kevin's best efforts... Oh, dear. Yes. Uh, it's not easy. What? The passenger isn't impressed. Thank you. Back in Manchester, the officers have the celebrity chef caught smuggling cocaine in his pants under arrest. Yeah. He could be sent down. Importation of a Class A, so it's not a petty offence. The smuggler's plan right. began confidently. You okay. gonna be sick? But now he doesn't bit. have the stomach to deal with the consequences. The man is visibly distressed, but Zoobs needs to get his hands on the cocaine hidden in his underwear. Are you okay, sir? Are you okay to continue? Can you bend down, please? Part your buttocks, please. Okay, sir. Two small packages in plastic bags that were on his underwear. In the UK, one wrap probably about 50, 60 pounds. Um, for what it's actually worth, I mean, He's put his um, neck on the line. It's a small seizure, but with serious consequences. You do actually feel um, sorry for individuals, I mean, for doing things like that. But at the end of the day, I mean, they've actually committed a crime. It's especially significant for Zoobs, as it's his first ever Class A seizure. This was my first arrest for cocaine, so my heart was actually pumping, and it's like, it, from speaking to colleagues, they say regardless how many times you actually do it, um, your heart does pump, you, you do get a buzz. But there'll be no buzz from this cocaine. It will now be destroyed. A few days later, the man pleaded guilty and received two years conditional discharge for the crime.